in a world dominated by digital music where there is little to no space for classic formats, one format seems to be making a comeback. Yes, you've guessed it right, vinyl records are spinning back into our lives. Hi, I'm David, and welcome back to Radio Pump. Recent statistics shows a fascinating trend. In 2022, for the second year in a row, vinyl albums outsold CD albums in the US. That's right, vinyl is leading the way for album purchases. To understand the numbers a bit better, here are some quick facts. Over the last 16 years, vinyl record sales have consistently increased and now they account for 71% of all physical music format revenue. This means that if someone buys a physical copy of a song or an album, it is most likely a vinyl. In the meantime, sales in physical formats increased by 4%, earning 1.7 billion between 2021 and 2022. And vinyl sales alone accounted for $1.2 billion, and that is a 17% increase in sales compared to the previous year. City sales, on the other hand, decreased by 18% in 2022. Speaking of trends, Taylor Swift's Midnight album, which was the number one selling album for 2022 and first half of 2023, brought up a unique twist. Released in four different vinyl editions and slightly different cover images, when combined, their back covers form a clock face. This innovative design choice not only resonated with fans, set a trend in the music industry, but also ended up in huge number of sales. What's interesting is that Michael Jackson's Thriller, the best-selling album of 1983 and 1984, is still on the top 10 of the best-selling albums of the year with more than 169,000 sales for 2022 and 85,000 as of mid-year 2023. You can check out our musical quiz video where we talk about this album a little more, following the link in the description. But what's driving comeback of vinyl records? Well, there are several reasons. Nostalgia. For many people, vinyl records evoke memories of the past. The warmth of crackling sound reminds people of simpler times when they would sit around the record player, listen to their favorite tunes. Sound quality. Even though this is arguable, audiophiles think that the sound quality of vinyl is superior to digital formats. Vinyls provide a unique listening experience. Tangible experience. In an age of digital streaming, owning a physical records offer a different experience. Flipping through albums, reading liner notes, and admiring album artwork are all part of vinyl experience that digital formats can't replicate. Younger generations. Surprisingly, it's not just the older generation fueling the vinyl revival. Younger generation who have grown up in the digital era are also driving sales. They are discovering the magic of vinyl for the first time and are drawn to its authenticity. Collectability. Vinyl records have become collector's items. Limited edition pressings, colored vinyl and special released are highly sought after by enthusiasts. For example, in 2021, Wu-Tang Clan's one-of-a-kind Once Upon a Time in Shaolin was sold for an astonishing $4 million. But what's the impact of vinyl comeback on the global music industry? Well, it's not just a trend, it's a movement. It's driving people back to local record stores, encouraging artists to release special edition vinyls and even influencing modern music production. As a result of all this and vice versa, more and more people buy their first turntable and dive into the vinyl world every day. I'm one of those who always wanted to have a turntable, and recently I purchased one. Let me know in the comments if you would like me to share how I started my journey, how much it cost, which vinyls were the first one I bought, and more in a separate video. For me personally, vinyl is not just a format, it became a lifestyle, and I'm sure vinyls are here to stay. Let me know in the comments if you are one of us or going to be and let the music inspire you the most. See you next time.